What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about when is the best time to stretch and what type of stretching is best to apply at these different times. So there's three points that I would consider a good opportunity to apply flexibility training throughout the day. Number one is going to be immediately upon waking. Give or take about 30 minutes kind of first thing in the morning. This is going to be when you're stiffest but it is going to be a good point to add in a certain kind of flexibility work and can lead to some good gains. Number two is post training. Post exercise immediately afterwards is another good point to add in flexibility work and again this leads to good results as well. And the third and final option is going to be before bed and there's a certain type of stretching and protocol that I would recommend in that circumstance but that's something that I did for years. So those are the three points in the day where it might be good to stretch but don't feel like you have to stretch at each of those individual points just doing one or maybe a couple of them will be plenty to get the gains that you need. Right let's jump into the first one which is morning mobility. What's the best thing to do in the morning? I've given you on this channel a five minute morning mobility routine and that very much reflects what I'm going to recommend in this video. So in the morning the best thing to do is basically stick to dynamic or flexibility through movement work or mobility work to do first thing upon waking. You want to give yourself 20 to 30 minutes to get up, shake off the rust, but then after that you're good to go with some form of mobility training. Things like leg kicks if we're looking at hamstring, adductor or hip flexor mobility, so in those various directions would be a good addition here. Arm swings are also a fantastic option as well if you want to loosen up those shoulders and get some movement in there. And then one of my personal favorite is joint articulations as well. I think that works really, really well first thing in the morning, get your spine moving. As I said beforehand, a really good option here would be my five minute morning mobility routine. That kind of ticks a lot of these boxes and would be an easy thing to throw in. And who hasn't got five minutes to spare first thing in the morning? You can also apply the same principle to pre-workout as well. The same sort of stretching methods apply both in the morning and pre-workout. Number two, let's talk about post-training. This is personally my favorite and where I add most of my mobility work in is just in this post-training period. Number one, you're already in the gym anyway. What's another 10 to 15 minutes that you can add on and make sure you're guaranteed to get your flexibility work in. Number two, you've already warmed up. You're already trained a little bit of the musculature, so you're gonna be in a good place to get start training. You don't have to worry about warming up again, etc. Number three is that it's a great way of solidifying the range of motion that you've used in that session. Adding some flexibility work, extending that range actually does complement very well with training. And also it can help reduce down some of that CNS activity that we've been getting from doing a hard training session. So what's the best kind of stretching that you could add into this post-training area? I would say that loaded or PNF kind of style training would be the best suit for this post-training flexibility session. So whether that would be something like my loaded middle split routine, my front split PNF routine, my loaded hamstring routine, all of these I'll link down below as well. Anything like that is a great shout to add in and it's an easy just 15 minutes extra at the end of a session that you can add in to your training session. So that's the type of stretching and when I would add it for post training. So the final point to talk about is that before bed stretching opportunity. This is personally an old favorite of mine. When I first started getting into flexibility training, I gave myself a flexibility routine and I did it every single night before bed. However, there's a certain type of flexibility work that I would recommend in this time and that is static stretching. Long static holds are really going to help calm and release tension and calm the CNS and actually get us ready for bed. We don't want to be hyping ourselves up with some loaded work or some aggressive PNF before bed. We just want to be breathing calm, long static holds. The stretching in this session shouldn't be particularly intense. We should just focus on areas of tightness. Generally speaking, if we want to open up our chest, open up our hips, this is a good opportunity to do it for a long form stretches. The one thing I wouldn't recommend if we're doing long static stretches is anything with a flex spine. I wouldn't want to be doing anything past sort of 60 seconds as a long static stretch with your spine flex. So things like pike and pancake and other things as well. Anything that's going to open up the chest, open up the hips, this is a great opportunity to add in some 60 to 120 second holds in here and just breathe and relax before bed. But that is it for this video, guys. There you have it. Best times to stretch, first thing in the morning, after your training session, just before you go to bed at night. In the morning, you want to do dynamic, more moving mobility work. After training, you want to add in some loaded, some PNF work. And before bed is a good time to throw in some static stretching. As I said, don't feel like you have to do all three of these. A lot of the times with flexibility work, less is more. 
but if you're thinking about adding in these variables, give it a try, see what you enjoy. And while you're giving these things a try, why not leave a comment down below? Join the conversation, let me know what you thought of this video, let me know if you're gonna try any, let me know if it worked for you. You can also hit that thumbs up button if you want and you can support the channel. Right next to it is that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of these future videos or any more future routines that you can apply to your training. But that has been it for this week, guys. Have a strong week and peace. Thank you.